everybody, we're here to remove a, a Magard wheel lock where we don't have a key. Uh, you possibly you bought the vehicle used and you don't have the key or maybe the mechanic lost it or didn't return it to you. Um, or you can't get the replacement key because you don't have the registration with Magard. Uh, I'm going to use a few common household items uh, that we have in a toolbox so we can remove this. Um, other videos have you welding things or possibly using an impact wrench. We're just going to use um, what we typically have in a household toolbox. What you'll need is a hammer or mallet. I find the actual um, sledgehammer type mallet to be uh, more useful. It gives you a bigger impact and can get the, uh, the socket on better. Um, you'll need a socket that's slightly smaller than the actual wheel lock um, and of course the socket wrench to remove the wheel lock. So your goal is to get a socket that is a little bit smaller than the diameter of the wheel lock. You want to get one with a lot of biting surface. So instead of the hex kind of lug nut, I get I got the one with the multi-point right there. And you'll notice it doesn't fit on very well. It's just a little bit too tight and that's what you're going for. You're going to hammer that so they can pretty much bite on it and torque it right off with your socket wrench. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to put the little socket there and just tap lightly just to get it in place first. You don't want to damage your alloy or have hubcap or whatever you got there. So now that I got it in place, you want to give it a good hammering. And if you don't get it on good enough, it's going to just torque right off. You just simply try again until you see it stays there. And you can see it's pretty well hammered in there. We'll put our wrench on and try to take it off right now. Okay, I got my extension. I'm going to put on the wrench and see if we can torque it off. And it looks like, as you can see, it's not turning the actual bolt because it wasn't on tight enough. It'll come right off. So, so we have to pretty much hammer it a little bit harder. Get it there good and tight. Got our wrench. And there it goes. Alright, so now what you have is you have the wheel lock stuck into the socket. You can actually throw this away and buy four sockets total. It's still cheaper than if you were to go to a locksmith or the dealership to get the wheel locks removed. But it's about $250, so you'll spend $10 or so. However, you can invest a little bit more money, get a deep socket, and it's a little bit wider in diameter than the actual socket that we use to take off the wheel lock. What your goal is, is to punch it right through and let it sit. So as you can see, it's a little bit deeper for you to have the wheel lock fall through and a little bit smaller. You can either use a screwdriver to, to hammer that through, but I find that it's not as efficient as if you use maybe like an adapter for your wrench. It gives you more surface area and just hammer it right through, it'll go and pop off. Now it's on pretty tight, so ironically, this takes longer than taking off the actual wheel lock. Okay, okay there you go. There's your wheel lock. It's still reusable. If for some miraculous reason you find the key again. And the socket that we used to remove it, see? Very reusable for all four of those wheel locks to be removed. It gets pretty banged up, so you might want to buy just one for this exercise here. 
Well, now that we got our wheel lock off, don't forget to put on your regular lug nut, properly torqued, and you're good to go. If you have any questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video.